Hi there, welcome to today's video and yep I'm finally on camera again. I've had to take a little bit of a break because I've had some issues with my eyes so I've not been able to wear any makeup so I've been a bit reluctant <laughs> to appear on camera but yeah I'm doing a bit better today. Um, but anyway today I'm going to be making a character called Candice Marie from the film Nuts in May and I'll talk more in depth about the film during the process of this video um, if you've not seen it but I heartily recommend that you check it out if you haven't done so already so yeah let me go and show you how I made her oh before I move on to narrate the video I just wanted to give you a heads up that there might be some traffic noise today um, basically there always is on my videos but um, it seems a little bit loud this morning for some reason but I'll do my best to edit as much as I can out but yeah just thought I'd give you a heads up and uh, yeah let's go and narrate the video. So to get things started I'm just using a wet wipe just to wipe down my work surface it's always important to do just to try and pick up any sort of uh, fragments of dust particles etc that might be flying around and I'm using a little bit of sacrificial clay here just to ensure that my hands are nice and clean as well as my work surface and I'm going to start with Candice Marie's head so I'm just cutting off some uh, flesh tone clay here just to get things started and I'll just fashion it into kind of a loose head shape So I felt really inspired to work with uh, Nuts in May this week, really because it's one of my favourite films, it's uh, really funny, but also, you know, it suits the time of year really. I've included an intermission piece in this video that will come up in a, a few minutes time. It was filmed a few weeks ago, but it felt like a really inspiring walk actually. It was uh, yeah, particularly beautiful that evening, so I felt compelled to include it in this week's video. But it, yeah, it just gave me a hankering for spring really and uh, Nuts in May is a film that's set in Dorset, I think and it's directed by Mike Lee whose work is just brilliant actually and I'm sure you've seen one if not more of his films at some point in your life. So yeah, he's created really some quite iconic pieces of film really. Nuts in May is probably one of his best for me, I'd say. I really like Abigail's Party as well and they're both created in the, the mid 70s I think, part of the Play for Today series for the BBC. That was way before my time but I think I, I caught them in the 90s maybe, just on some repeats on, on the BBC but I was just enthralled by them really, he's a very talented creator and director really. He's got quite an interesting way of working with actors on his films in that um, I think they kind of get together over a series of weeks really to try and get to the, the root of the characters really and uh, they rely heavily on improvisation um, in his films which is really quite unique and uh, you know that must be a real skill in itself to be able to just rely on your own brain really. Um, I'm not sure that I could actually, I think I'd like the security of knowing what to say and when really but you know it just evidences how talented his, his actors are that, that work on his films. And uh, Candice Marie from Nuts in May is uh, played by Alison Steadman, who's just brilliant. I really, really love her. And you'll probably know her from Gavin and Stacey if, uh, if you've not come across her in any other work. But yeah, she's really quite a formidable actor, really. Very, very talented. And I think her character name is Pam in Gavin and Stacey. I can't quite remember, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, Nuts in May uh, basically involves Candice Marie and her partner or her husband, Keith, and they go away on a camping trip in Dorset. And they're presented really as a, a pair of kind of uh, liberal vegetarians, really, very sort of hippie-esque. And it seems that they just want to have a really lovely time away on, on their camping trip. And they've got their guitar, so they're away for a kind of idyllic British holiday but it soon becomes apparent that they're yeah more intolerant perhaps than they'd realized certainly when other people kind of rock up 
in their tents with their kind of transistor radios and making noise etc they really kind of reveal themselves as kind of quite intolerant um, a bit socially awkward and certainly in the case of Candice Marie's husband Keith he's uh, very sort of emotionally stilted really and much hilarity ensues and uh, yeah it's certainly worth watching if you've not come across nuts in may before and also abigail's party actually is really really good it's um almost a, a social commentary on class really but again it stars alison sedman and it really evidences what a chameleon she is actually in terms of acting so the trousers and candice marie's heads now ready to bake so it seems an appropriate time for an intermission So as I've mentioned, we took a walk out in the countryside maybe uh, a week or two ago now and it was such a beautiful evening. Um, this was around an hour before kind of sunset really. So yeah, it was really kind of particularly beautiful really, a real kind of strong yellow light going on. And we just happened upon this uh, little bridge which is just gorgeous, isn't it? You can just imagine some hobbits living. <laughs> in the amongst this area it's really quite beautiful so yeah i just felt really inspired to start thinking about spring and the year ahead really even though we're all kind of stuck at home at the moment it's just nice to think what's out there once we're able to go for walks again and here's little jean paul and uh, yeah he doesn't want to go home yet again He's a little nightmare actually in trying to get him home. <laughs> As you can see from these examples here. So now these are baked, I can continue with uh, making candies, Marie. How are you all coping with uh, being at home? It's kind of strange, isn't it? I found it particularly weird because I thought I'd be absolutely cool with it. I was feeling a little claustrophobic for a, a little while which was really strange because you know I'm often at home and um, I don't often go out, maybe go to the pub occasionally with Ian or you know do the food shopping etc but I think it's got a lot to do with choice hasn't it, you know if you're told to stay at home it's very different from having your own sort of autonomy really involved so it just takes a little while getting used to really but I hope you're all doing okay it's uh, yeah just a tricky time isn't it and just takes a bit of getting used to really I should really do perhaps a video of um, all the YouTube channels that I find entertaining at some points if you're looking for, for new things to watch I tend to watch a lot of art videos etc so I might do a little roundup for you at some points. If you're new to my channel, my name's Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and I make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures. I do some tutorials, some vlogs and reviews, etc. So if you like what you see, go and hit that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell for notifications as well. I hope to be able to do some more vlogs soon actually because I, I really enjoy those so I might have a think about one for the next week or two. It was really quite difficult to see the pattern on Candice Marie's scarf because you know you're looking at footage from the 70s which isn't the most clear really so I'm just doing um, like a representation of what I've seen. I should mention because I always forget about these things that I've a list of the tools that I use fairly regularly down in the description if you're interested and they're all as affiliate links so if you're interested go take a look. So I need to make some glasses for Candice Marie, so I just need to basically wrap some craft wire around a fairly thick brush. Uh, 
and uh, yeah they look okay so now I just need to to work on her hair And to finish off, I just need to make Candice Marie a bobble hat. And here she is, all done. I don't know who mentioned about um, artists creating basically self-portraits of themselves all the time but uh, yeah I can certainly see myself in this too which is a bit weird but um, yeah I'm really pleased with the model regardless actually it, you know it's um, probably my favourite for a little while now so I'm looking forward to making Keith. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you have a good weekend coming up. It's a bit of a tricky one this year, isn't it, with um, regard to not being able to see friends and family, but I hope you have a good one regardless. And I'll see you next week with another video, so take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. What are you doing in the studio? Are you going to say hello to everybody? It's the end of the video now, mate. Are you going to say bye instead? Bye.